Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to add Amazon affiliate products to your WooCommerce store. It's super easy and you don't want to miss it. So it's coming up next. Now before we get started, let me just preface this in saying that the purchases that will be done for your affiliate products will actually take place on Amazon and not through the WooCommerce checkout process. But you can include affiliate products on your store that look like your products that you actually are selling. You can control the access point for all of that through your WooCommerce store. It'll look like a store product. People can click buy now, except it will take them to Amazon where they'll purchase it using your affiliate tag that you set up with your Amazon Associates account. So if that's something that interests you, let's get going on this. So there are a few pieces that you're going to need. Obviously, you're going to need a WordPress website. You're going to have to have WooCommerce plugin installed. It's free and it's actually owned by WordPress. And you're going to have to have an Amazon affiliate account. Once those three pieces are in place, then we can start selling up our affiliate product in our WooCommerce store. So I'm going to start over in my WordPress website. I'm going to go down to WooCommerce. And actually, I'm going to click on products. I'm going to click on add new. Uh, for product name, I'm just going to put in C. Well, let's do uh, Logitech. Logitech. C920, probably one of the most famous and basic necessities for anyone who's doing any video online. And uh, we're not going to put anything in for the uh, description yet. Okay, so let's go over to our, our affiliate uh, account and go find the C920 and get working on that. I'm over here on my Amazon uh, Affiliates account, the Amazon Associates Central, and I'm gonna search for the C920 camera. I'm gonna click Go. All right, here are the results, and it's the first result that I want. I'm gonna click on the down arrow, and this is the link that uh, we're gonna paste in our product over in WooCommerce. So we're gonna grab that, we're gonna copy and paste. Copy, go over to our product. Now, uh, under product data, you're gonna click the drop down list and you're gonna click external affiliate product. Select that and you're gonna be shown a product URL option. So we're gonna put in that URL that we just grabbed. We're gonna put in a button text. So we're gonna say buy now. Or you can say buy now on Amazon to be right up front, right? The regular price was uh, fifty-five sixty-eight. You can see I've already tested this out before. And there's no sale price for that. It is taxable and it is standard. Those things you don't really have to worry about because, again, it's not going to go through your WooCommerce store. It's going to look like a store product in your store, but when a person clicks on it, it's going to take them to Amazon. Now we can go back to our product here and we're going to actually uh, take a screenshot of the product. Uh, any of these will do, right? You can click on any of these or actually mouse over them and just get different views of it. So let's do that one. And okay. And then we'll just do uh, to do a screenshot in the Mac, it's Command Shift 4. And we'll just uh, draw a little line over that. There we go. And we'll go back over to our product and add that in. And our featured. And we also have product gallery. So you could do set the product image. And I've already taken a screenshot of that. And I get a typo here I just noticed. So let's take care of that. All right, so that's our product image. And then we can add product gallery images. So let's go grab the one that we just did. I'm going to click on Upload, Select Files, go over to my Dropbox, Screenshots, that's the last screenshot, click on Open. And we can go back here and change the title, but I just want to uh, get that done and add it to you so we can see what it looks like. 
Okay, and then that's that. We add in a product, product uh, don't forget to tag your product in a category, I can speak. And then you wanna grab your product description. So let's go back over to this tab. And here's our product description right here. Grab that and put it in the short description. I like the short description because it shows uh, at the top of the product, All right? Make sure you have your sharing buttons on. And the other option I'm gonna choose, this is optional up to you, but I'm gonna show um, uh, content and no sidebars. Cause I like the nice clean look of the image and the uh, description. You can optionally, you can put in here um, some product reviews or you can put in your own review in here. Uh, you can grab some reviews uh, from the actual product. Here we go. You can grab some reviews here. You can put in the link to the reviews. Anything that you can get people to do that, that would be great. Uh, you want to convince them that this is the product that you need and this is what it can do for you. And here's some of the two testimonials that people have uh, responded to you with. You know, all that type of information can go right into that uh, lower part of the product. So let's take a look at what this looks like. And you know what, just for, I'm just going to put in test here just so you know where it shows up when I click publish. All right, we have all of our pieces in place. I'm gonna click publish. And let's go check out our product live on my website. Da -da -da. And so here is the, so the, these are the uh, product profile, you know, the gallery. So you can switch, isn't that cool? You can just switch between images like that. That's a nice little feature and see how nice and clean it looks without the sidebars. I find that sometimes with the sidebars, it just crams everything down so small that uh, it just doesn't look very good. Now, uh, here is where that long description would show up. And uh, I've already done a test, so there's already product in there with the same information. So uh, I'm just gonna click on buy now on Amazon and boom, you're done. Now selling affiliate products through your WooCommerce store. People just click on the buy now and then they go through the checkout process through Amazon. This is one of the simplest ways to get your affiliate uh, products, your Amazon affiliate products inside WooCommerce. There are a lot of other plugins out there, but I find that if you keep it easy and simple, people are not gonna complain, they're not gonna have technical problems, you're not going to have a technical degree to figure out the plugin and what it does and how come this video doesn't match up with what I'm doing. You know, you follow a tutorial or something. So I find that this is probably the, the simplest thing that you can do, the easiest thing you can do to get your affiliate products working through your WooCommerce store. So thanks so much for watching this video. I appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. For more information about me, and to check out this new product I just put up, go to larrysnow.me and I'll see you in the next video.